Okie doke, let's talk about estrogen. <laughs> a quick mention though, if you do have health insurance, um, I usually tell people, number one, contact your health insurance company ahead of time, see if they have any specific like transgender medication policies already on file. Um, I would bet on them not covering it, that way you plan for the worst and then you're pleasantly surprised if they do. Um, because it's probably a 50-50, maybe a little bit less than 50% shot that they do cover it, uh, at least here in Mississippi. Uh, and so it's just better to plan around it just in case, you know, they don't. Uh, sometimes they will cover it after like a long period of time of like trying to go back and forth with them to justify it. Uh, some of them want a prior authorization form filled out, which is basically just us writing a, a letter that justifies why you need it. That doesn't mean that they will cover it no matter how much we say you need it. Um, but anyways, so sometimes it can be kind of a process before they actually deny it and sometimes they'll just deny it outright. Uh, so like I said, plan for the worst and then you'll be pleasantly surprised if they actually do cover it. Luckily though, uh, the vast majority of uh, hormone medications are pretty reasonable uh, price whenever you're paying out of pocket, especially if you use a GoodRx coupon. Uh, go to GoodRx.com and you can look those up. Uh, but anyway, so it's not that bad anyway, even if you are paying out of pocket. So, um, let's see, let's get into the options for estradiol, which is the main hormone that we'll be, uh, taking whenever we're doing, uh, estrogen therapy. So, uh, whenever we're talking about estrogen therapy, uh, the main forms that we see people, uh, get prescribed partly because of affordability is, uh, pills, patches, and injections. Uh, there are also creams and other things like that. They usually come from more of a specialty compounding pharmacy though. Uh, so with regards to pills, uh, starting off, <laughs> the average cost of pills um, paying out of pocket is usually gonna land somewhere between like 15 to 30 dollars a month depending on your dose and frequency and everything um for purposes of like full transition full dose therapy uh we usually do um you know you're going to be taking like a two milligram tab three times a day some you know somewhere around there uh and sometimes that becomes very annoying for people <laughs> to have to take pills three times a day uh there is a purpose behind that though because those pills have a very short half-life of maybe like six to eight hours so so you need to take them several times a day to keep those levels up and stable and everything. Um, but you don't have to be perfect with those. Like it's not like every eight hours on the dot or something like that. And you know, if you don't get it, you explode. It's, no. Um, but three times a day to keep pulsing those those levels up. Uh, also, we would tell you to take the tablets um, under the tongue for maybe five minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. It depends on how much saliva you have in your mouth. Um, but anyway, so the purpose behind kind of partially dissolving it under your tongue before swallowing whatever's left is because you will absorb it um, through those large blood vessels that run under your tongue. Uh, a little bit more so than if you would have just swallowed the tablet because if you swallow it then it's going to come into contact with the enzymes and things from the liver which essentially just destroy like 90% of the medicine in that pill um, and by partially dissolving it under the tongue before swallowing it you can actually absorb up to 30% more uh, medication from that pill than you would have had you just swallowed it and gotten 10% so you can get up to 40% of the medication out of a pill or 10%. I mean, your choice. <laughs> Seems like a no-brainer. But anyway, so pills, maybe $15 to $30 a month. Um, full dose would be three times a day, putting it under the tongue before swallowing it. Uh, so easy to start, uh, can be kind of annoying because of how frequently you have to take them, but not bad, you know definitely not bad have a lot of people start off on pills uh, because it's just an easy way to jump right in and then you can change your mind later you know if uh, if you get frustrated with them uh, so anyways moving on to patches so with patches uh, you know essentially you're gonna stick a patch on you know you can put it you know upper arm or upper chest or you know on your butt or whatever. Um, basically try and put it over like a little piece of fatty tissue or something like that or you know just don't you can't put it like directly on the chest tissue that will be developing that's a good way to ask for breast cancer but uh, 
<laughs> anyway, so uh, the cost of patches is gonna run somewhere around about like 35 to 45 dollars per month. So they're a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, they can kind of be a pain in the butt, especially for those who don't have like, if, if things don't stick to you very well already, like if you've ever put a band-aid on it and it just falls off, or uh, you know, if whenever you've ever had blood drawn or something, or gotten a shot and you have that little paper tape or something like that and it comes off really easy, or if stickers don't stick on you, it can make it very difficult for these patches to stay on. Um, and there are two kinds of them. One is a weekly patch and the other is a twice weekly patch. We generally try to only prescribe the twice weekly patch because the once weekly just, it just, it doesn't stay stuck on for a week. It just freaking doesn't. Um, especially like here in Mississippi where you're gonna be sweating even in winter time. <laughs> <laughs> um, because the patches are, you know, resistant to like water and sweat, but they are not water and sweat proof. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so, uh, so you put the patch on, um, you know, if it's a twice weekly patch and, you know, you change it out in three days for one patch, four days for another, or we have some people who like actually get it down to like a science of what time it would be for three and a half days each time. Either way, but the twice weekly patches, you know, it just gives the uh, the sticky that's in the patch a little, a little bit uh, more of a chance to stay stuck on for like three and a half days as opposed to seven. Um, and then some people just don't absorb very well. Uh, for for patches, so that's also another thing to t take into consideration. Like, uh, especially folks that have very thick skin, or if you have um, been very tan from the sun most of your life. Like, if you're working outside, or if you like are very athletic and you're outside a lot, and so your skin is exposed to the sun, it can make it more difficult um, for the medication to absorb through. And then some people just it doesn't matter what type of skin they have, like it just doesn't absorb through well anyway. Um, so patches can be pretty problematic uh, that way. It, it, so it can be kind of frustrating. Uh, it is an okay way, like if you want to just start out and start slow, even like we, we start people off on the highest dose patch, which is 0 0.1 milligrams. Doesn't sound like much, but it is. Um, but anyway, we always start people off on the highest dose patch, and if that isn't quite enough, then we can add two patches to be worn at once. Now that does increase the price significantly, so that's something to keep in mind if you had to increase to two patches at the same time. But anyway, um, so patches kind of problematic, a little bit higher on the price scale at that $35 to $45 a month uh, price. Um, we generally recommend these for folks who are, um, you know, either like kind of collecting birthdays, so they're at, you know, somewhat higher risk for things like strokes and clots and whatnot, or if you already have known liver problems. <clears throat> um, if you just for some reason can't take pills and you just won't take injections and you you know don't want to pay for like a compounded cream or something like that maybe try patches um i personally don't usually recommend them right off the bat for someone who's young and healthy and everything just because of the multitudinous problems that a lot of people have with them absorbing very well or staying stuck on or whatever um because i mean you're not really gonna know until you get repeat labs, whether or not that stupid thing is working. <laughs> That's not to say patches are all bad. It's just that, you know, I want people to know uh, the problems that get encountered with each thing. With pills, people get really freaking tired of taking them multiple times a day. With patches, it can be very frustrating keeping them stuck on, uh, as well as you can have problems just absorbing. So, um, <clears throat> so that's patches in a nutshell. Now, moving on. Injections, um, I'm biased towards injections because they just freaking work. <laughs> um, but a lot of people aren't just jumping off the bat like, yeah, I want to start injections right away. So um, sometimes we'll recommend people start on pills uh, and then educate themselves about injections and things, which we have a whole educational little kit thing uh, of information that we send you with links to videos and stuff like that uh, to get you rolling. Uh, but anyway, so starting off on pills and then moving to injections is a, is a good choice uh, to give yourself some time to adjust in case you want to. Uh, that being said, injections uh, cost uh, on average 
somewhere between maybe $80 and $120 for a 90-day supply. So um, you can't get it in a one-month supply. Uh, it's going to come in a vial with, uh, you know, enough in it to last a approximately like 90 days or so um, so that is kind of a bigger upfront cost but broken down on a monthly cost basis I mean if it costs the max $120 for the 90 day supply then I mean that breaks down to like $40 a month or potentially less um, so cost wise it is more expensive potentially than pills but also you know you do the injections once a week uh, and so it's like one and done. You don't have to take several times a day or worry about something sticking. Uh, it gets your levels up, boom, and you don't have to worry about them. Uh, so that's why I'm very biased towards injections because it's like it's one and done and it gets your levels like up and just where they need to be super quick. Um, but <laughs> like I said, a lot of people aren't a fan of stabbing themselves and it may take some time to kind of educate and get around to it and whatever. Um, but it's your choice ultimately. Uh, and you could, you know, go on injections and absolutely be like, nope, I can't do this. And you may go, you know, back to pills or something like that. Uh, but anyway, so injections, 80 to $120 for like a 90 day supply. Um, injections are generally going to be given once per week. There are variations on this depending on a person's response and how long they've been on the medicine and da, 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 da. But, uh, essentially that's, that's what the vast majority of people start out on uh, is once weekly uh, injections. So um, another thing to mention about injections though, and like as of right now, when I'm recording this video, it's December uh, 2022. And all this year we have had a huge problem with a shortage um, of injectable estradiol. And so like what that means is like, I could send the prescription in and they just don't have it. They say it's on back order and they don't know when it'll come in. And you know, essentially what we do then is the patient will call a couple of different pharmacies in their area and just see who has it. And then I'll send the prescription into the pharmacy that says they have it in stock. Um, so that can be kind of a pain in the butt whenever you, uh, you know, anyways. So um, pills, patches, injections, all good solid choices. I'm gonna make a mention here at the end though of an additional uh, resource that we have. Uh, we are partnered with a, uh, a compounding pharmacy uh, called Empower Pharmacy. <clears throat> Essentially what a compounding pharmacy is, is a pharmacy that like makes their own medicine on site. So they don't get it from like the, you know, drug manufacturers, pharmaceutical company type deals. They just literally make their own and they typically are making them uh, as a hypoallergenic compound. So like if someone was allergic to the oil that estradiol injections are mixed in, a uh, compounding pharmacy would make one, you know, out of a different type of oil that is more hypoallergenic, da 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 da. Uh, so very neat. Uh, also the compounding pharmacy will mail it to your house. So that's kind of nice in that you don't have to interact with um, your traditional pharmacy. So you don't have to go in the pharmacy and see the pharmacy tech or pharmacist at the counter and have all that interaction. Instead, you just pay for your medicine and it gets mailed to your house and bleh, no big deal, right? Um, I do uh, more advise this for people who are on the injectable form of estradiol. Uh, rather than the pills, patches, or whatnot, because the pills and patches, it's just not as cost effective to purchase from the compounding pharmacy, unless what you're going for is the whole privacy benefit. Then it may it may benefit you to go ahead and purchase through a compounding pharmacy just because you'll be able to avoid a regular uh, pharmacy. But just for, for example, um, the injectable price is quite reasonable through Empower. Um, as of right now, December 2022, uh, injectable uh, estradiol, you can get a 90 day supply for about like 80 bucks and then the shipping is like 12 bucks. So $92 for, you know, a 90 day supply ain't too shabby and you don't have to go to the pharmacy or anything. Um, you can purchase like needles and syringes through them as well is typically for like a 10 pack of needles and syringes. It's like 
four dollars and fifty cents or something you know so you buy a couple of tin packs and it lasts you for a good long while um but you can also purchase those off of healthwarehouse.com or you know or wherever you want to purchase them here in the state of mississippi it's perfectly legal to buy needles and syringes without a prescription um it's just finding a reputable place to go to so i mean like healthwarehouse.com that's a good one um and then purchasing them from empower pharmacy themselves perfectly fine um they have good prices on that um so uh with regards to like empower pharmacy they also offer like kind of the specialty meds like that you would find like estradiol uh cream uh so if there's someone out there who takes pills and they get frustrated with pills and they don't want to take pills anymore uh, and they try patches and it just doesn't work and they just absolutely will not go to injections. Uh, there is also the option of cream. Um, now compounded estrogen cream at the doses that are needed, you know, like they have over the counter estrogen cream, but it's not at the kind of dose that's needed for transitioning. Um, <laughs> so, cause it's, it's like a puny, puny dose that does like almost nothing that you can generally get over the counter. Uh, well, actually, it's not really over the counter. It's just from your local pharmacy with a prescription. Um, so sorry for that verbiage. I just meant like going to the pharmacy counter and picking it up. But um, so what's available commercially at the pharmacy is going to be much less concentration than what you get at a compounding pharmacy. So um, generally speaking, like right now, again, December 2022, uh, a one month supply of estradiol cream of just about any um, dosage uh, that I might prescribe would be somewhere around like 80 bucks. So it is a little bit more pricey there. Uh, and then that's also add on um, $12 for shipping. And you can purchase like one month, two month or whatever together and you save on, you know, save on shipping because you just pay shipping once. But still, it is a little bit more pricey option to be going for. Uh, but it is an option if someone is absolutely tired of pills and patches are not effective enough and they just absolutely don't want to go on injections. Well, uh, there is cream uh, as well. And that's typically going to be applied, one, applied, can't talk, uh, applied once or twice a day. Kind of just depends on the person as to how many times a day is more beneficial. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty much it for uh, options for estradiol. So you've got the pills. Uh, you've got the patches, you've got injections, uh, you've also got like cream and injections um, through the mail order compounding pharmacy partner that we have, Empower Pharmacy, which by the way are very like trans affirming and everything. Like they, they're cool people. Uh, but anyway, so um, hope that helped. If you have any questions, definitely just ask your provider whenever you see them at your appointment. Alrighty, see y'all later. Bye.